You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Third hour, your phone call's coming up in the next segment. Then I'm going to get into some good news. State legislators considering more than 200 bills to block federal power. And going back to our guest, the author of The Colder War, Marin Katusa, I see globalist oppression, globalist domination, forcing states, counties, cities, micro regions around the world to just stop complying. I don't care how computerized their systems are. I don't care how pushy their surveillance is. I've noticed that in the face of some of the technocrats personally, we've just operated how we want to and done what we want to. I, I think the big secret is folks don't realize the real power is in just doing it to steal a phrase from Nike. Definitely. You know, look, for example, look at towns in Canada, the Fort Mac, where all the oil sands, major layoffs, cutbacks in the billions of dollars. These are really high employed jobs, you know, starting salaries for a truck driver at $35 an hour that bam, those jobs. are. Notice done. Canada suddenly isn't pro carbon tax. Exactly, because now they can't afford it. And you look at a country like even Saudi Arabia, where 50% of the males, the Shiite males, even though it's a Sunni majority, uh, the majority in the oil producing region are Shiites and 50% of the ages between 20 and 35 are unemployed. That is a uh, revolution just waiting for a catalyst. So you're gonna see as these higher unemployment rates come, you're gonna see more revolutions, especially in the petrol states. Look at Venezuela, that's ready to pop. Uh, there's a lot of problems globally. No kidding. And again, who do you see being the winner long term in this? I believe that if the politicians can stay out of the way of the energy sector, it will be America because we have the innovation, we have the intelligence, we have the entrepreneurship, the American dream is still alive in the oil patch. It's the politicians, it's the bureaucrats that get in the way with the red tape. Um, and I would put North America, I'd put the Canadians with the Americans there. Uh, I think the biggest losers are going to be the, the monarchies and, and you know, the, the old system, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait. Uh, they're waiting for a pin to pop that bubble. Looking at uh, Obama and the Western establishment, do you, what's your view or what intel do you have on whether the Saudis and OPEC did this on their own or whether they had approval from the West to destroy the uh, new energy sector uh, led by shale? I think that Obama definitely didn't prevent them from creating this war on the shale sector. You know, Obama's mandates really make no sense where certain areas when they were economic he shut the window for exploration now in the Atlantic coast he's opening up areas that are uneconomic so Obama's completely oblivious to the economics sure. of the oil sector but Saudi Arabia really declared war on the shale sector and it's about market sure. share spend a minute and, and a half on Keystone I know you're an expert on that yeah, well, Keystone, look, the key there is the Jones Act. They're going to try to switch in, which is going to be a big uh, devastation for the U.S. Marine, the jobs. There's over $2 billion in jobs there that, you know, they're going to bring in Asian ships to ship the oil within the U.S. ports. Uh, but the problem with the uh, Keystone XL is they're going to increase shipping oil by a rail. That's very dangerous for the American people. Number two, rather than building new pipelines, they're going to depend on old pipelines that were built when Elvis Presley was singing blue suede shoes. That's also a big risk. And now they've missed the window at $45 oil. You're not building any new pipelines. So a recession in infrastructure building. Exactly. You know, all the companies are pulling back on it and they've missed the window. And again, and, uh, Warren Buffett uh, is highly invested along with George Soros in the trains that are going to transship it out to the West Coast of Canada instead of coming to us. And not only that. Warren Buffett's the largest shareholder and the largest oil sands producer in Canada that's going to ship that Canadian heavy oil through the rail. Hold on, so hold on. Can you do five more minutes with us? Sure, no problem. Okay, we're going to come back. I want to give you the floor to talk about George Soros and, and Warren Buffett and, and how they killed Keystone uh, so that they could then ship the oil to China. I mean, it's just you want to know how economics really works, folks, how the screw jobs work. And it's always the same criminals. It's always, always the same turds. 
Uh, we're going to have a final uh, talk with him, then go right to Walt and others that are patiently holding. Stay with us. I'm Alex Jones. For all of recorded history, civilizations around the world praised the health benefits of silver. At InfoWars Life, our mission is to bring you the highest quality, purest, cleanest, effective colloidal silver on the market today for the lowest price available. You don't have to be a doctor to know. The fall and winter months are the most dangerous time of year in North America when it comes to you and your family's health. InfoWarsLife.com is very excited to announce our biggest run yet of Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Now InfoWarsLife.com has taken colloidal silver to the next level using a cutting-edge technique that is free of toxic artificial additives. Now more than ever, it's important to stock up on high-quality Silver Bullet from InfoWarsLife.com. No survival chest is complete without Silver Bullet. Secure your Silver Bullet today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Silver Bullet. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality. Specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel body armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L, BodyArmor.com. Infidel body armor just won't quit. Year after year, we watched the threat steadily increase. And now, this winter has been the worst on record when it comes to our immune systems and health. For more than two years, InfoWarsLife.com has been watching this crisis intensify. And Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Complex was our answer. Using a proprietary process that takes ancient proven herbs and combines them with modern science, this powerful and affordable formula contains more than 14 key herbs and extracts, including Echinacea, ginger root, elderberry, golden seal root, a proprietary yin chio formula, and many, many more. I take it, and so does my family. It's made in the USA, gluten-free, alcohol-free, no artificial flavors or colors, and not tested on animals. Take advantage of this introductory offer for ancient defense, normally $19.95, now only $14.95. That's 25% off. Visit InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139 to secure your ancient defense. Take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. And Marin Catusa doing another five minutes with us. The cold, colder war. How the global energy trade slipped from America's grasp. Can't wait to read this book. I've only scanned over it. Very informative. And he is the chief energy strategist for Casey Research. Also the leader and owner of one of the largest uh, copper mines in Canada. One of those evil entrepreneurs that actually goes out there and explores and builds things. How horrible. You're just supposed to fly around in jumbo jets at taxpayer expense with red carpets to give speeches about how poor people need to be more poor for the earth. Uh, so Marin uh, is our guest for a few more minutes. Then we're going to go directly to your phone calls and a bunch of really important news I haven't gotten to yet. Um, but looking at this... And looking at the Keystone Pipeline, it's a microcosm that they've spent better part of a decade trying to block its construction and then not letting it open from Canada down into Texas to refineries. The feds under Bush and Obama have blocked opening in Corpus Christi and other areas. We haven't opened one new refinery in almost 30 years. This is the deindustrialization model where only select international ship zones can have new factories or facilities built and those of course are tax exempt and you've got the standard players 
uh, like Warren Buffett and others with their tax-free foundations that own the railroads that would bring the oil to the West Coast to be sold to China and Japan instead of bringing Canadian oil to the United States and to the Gulf of Mexico to ship the oil to the world. Uh, and in almost every case, our government bipartisan chooses the path that doesn't let America have any jobs. So I guess we'll just go be on welfare or, or have a government job or, or an entertainment job. They don't want us having infrastructure. Another great example was uh, Pachari, the head of the uh, UN Climate Bureau, would openly lobby to have British steel mills shut down. And then the last one that they shut down was moved to India where he and his son owned it. So people ask, why are all these rich people for this? Because they can pick winners and losers. They can shut off their competition. And there's countless examples of this, but Congress could investigate Warren Buffett. Congress could stop this. This is a national security issue when you've got a legal, lawful, safe, new pipeline compared to the old ones, much safer, and they're trying to shut it off. We're trying to shut off our coal plants. It's a bunch of rich insiders all day long trying to suppress everyone's industry but theirs. But notice, Warren Buffett could have been involved in a Keystone Pipeline and made money bringing oil to America. There is a fundamental hatred of this republic because they, they hate our great-grandparents. They hate the people they couldn't control. It's about dominating America, and these elites want to have fights with people that are already dead. Even though they run this country, they instinctively hate the West and want to destroy it. That's my view on this. Give me your take on it, uh, Marin. And then I want you to break down the details of the Keystone Pipeline and, and why people like Warren Buffett killed it. Well, Alex, you bring up some great points here. For example, let's take Warren Buffett. Not only is he the sole owner of uh, Burlington or Santa Fe, which brings all the oil out of the oil sands into the U.S., to the north, to the west, to the east. But more importantly, you know, there's this misconception that this Canadian oil is so dirty and it's bad. But why is Warren Buffett, the American legend in investing, one of the largest shareholders of the the largest oil sand producing company called Suncor. And yet, you know, he's quietly moved in there and become a major shareholder. And that oil now is controlled through the shipping of him. And isn't it convenient that the pipeline isn't built because he wouldn't have as much control in his railways wouldn't be supplied. Now, the growth of the rail, uh, shipping oil via rail has increased by over 20 times since Warren Buffett bought the railway. Is it a coincidence? Hell no. Number two, you look at George Soros, you know, he's trying to be seen as a, you know, a renaissance man globally. He has quietly built up a position in uh, the largest unhedged uh, U.S. uranium producer. Now, that doesn't really fit his image, but yet now he's getting into the U.S. uranium sector through Uranium Energy Corp. And now he's become one of the major shareholders in that company. So these guys have an image that they portray in public. But what they're doing with their dollars is very different, and they build up it quietly. So that's something that's really important to understand. And what's important is they use their political control exactly. to then manipulate and not let their competition operate in the market. That's right. It's very un-American what's going on here, especially with the Keystone XL, which is it's not only environmentally safe for the environment, for the people. It makes all the sense economically. It's all high-paying jobs. Everything about it makes sense. And most importantly, let's get rid of the riskiest way to ship oil is via uh, rail. OK, it's 30 times more likely to have an accident shipping oil via rail than a pipeline. And let's get rid of these old pipelines that were built before the 1960s. They were never designed to still keep control of moving the oil through these old pipelines. And I was so, about to say, you can track this, though. It's the same usual suspects, Soros and others that are financing the well-meaning Hollywood people that go and tie themselves to the pipelines and say, don't build them. It hurts the earth. Oh, you're going to kill the caribou. Oh, you're going to kill this and that. When those pipelines are just incredibly safe and good compared to, to, to trains. Not and only then, that, Alex, <laughs> I, I find it shocking how Qatar, okay, the world's largest LNG producer financed the Hollywood movie called Broken Promises, which is anti-U.S. shale development. It's mind-boggling to me that they even allowed to do this. And it's mind-boggling to me that Gazprom, the world's largest gas producer, is telling Europe and America that that shale gas is bad. You know, come on, let's really look at the facts here that Qatar really cares about America's uh, environment. Hell no, they don't want the U.S. Uh, shale gas eating into their international market share. That's what it's about. But the propaganda coming through Hollywood is just creating lies for the people.
Amazing. Anything else we should uh, know uh, dealing with pipeline?